Namaste student. Today we are going to see the problem based on your uh, parallel lines. Okay. So here we have uh, if uh, L parallel to M and angle 1 equals to 60 degree. So find all other angles. So here we have the diagram L parallel to M and this is your take it as T and T is your transversal. So we know that uh, angle uh, 1 is corresponding to angle 5, angle 2 is corresponding to angle 6. 4 corresponding to 8, 3 corresponding to 7. Angle 3 and 5 are alternate interior angle. Angle 4 and 6 are alternate interior angle. 2 and 8 are alternate exterior angle. 1 and 7 are alternate exterior angle. And 2, 4 vertically opposite angle. 1, 3 vertically opposite angle. 6, 8 vertically opposite angle. 5, 7 vertically opposite angle. You need to find all other angles. So we have here so many reasons. Just we need to take. So let's start with the first one. So we need to draw the diagram. Let's draw the diagram. Here we have a parallel line. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is your L and this is your M. And this is your T. Now we have, we have L parallel to M. So it's a compulsory to write because uh, without parallel line you cannot say that alternate interior angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. You cannot say. So parallel line should be there. Then only you can use that property. So here yeah, first one. First one we have 60 degree. Now you have choice. See first angle 1 is 60 degree that you, you need to find angle 2. Or you need to find angle 4. Then it will be easy for you. Because there are 8 angles. 4 will be one side and 4 will be the other side. That means there are 2 angles only. Each repeat 4 times. Okay. But for whom it will repeat we will going to see that one. So here angle 1 and you can see that angle 2. Or you can take angle 1 and angle 4. Okay. So here we are going to take angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to 180 degree. Why sir? Linear pair. We will mention this one. 1 and 2 linear pair. So from there we can see that angle 2 equals to what? 180 minus 60. We are getting 120. Now you have one is 60 degree another is 120 degree. Finish. We will not get any different type of angle. These two are there only so now you need to proceed see line by line you proceed one two you know after that see whatever you don't know you write that one in the left hand side remember okay this is standardness if we'll keep it in the left uh, right hand side also there'll be no mistake in that but generally we take the unknown thing in a left hand side so here angle one we know angle two we know now you proceed angle three and you can see that Angle 3 is equals to what? Angle 3 is equals to angle 1. Very simply we are getting. Or you can use linear pair also. But if you use the linear pair you need to work a little bit more. You need to go for this many step. It will take lots of time. So don't go for that. Just angle 3 is equals to angle 1. You mention here and reason is very much important. Vertically opposite angle. And then what? Angle 1 is equals to what? 60 degree. See you are getting. Next, you proceed for angle 4 and we know that angle 4 is equal to angle 2. Simply, you write here angle 2 and reason is vertically opposite angle and angle 2 is 120. Now, proceed for angle after angle 4 is what? Angle 5. What you can see that? Angle 5 is equal to angle 3. Why, sir? Sorry. Angle 5 is equal to angle 3. Reason is alternate interior angle. So we are going to write here. Angle 5 equals to angle 3. Alternate interior angles. Okay. Next. 6 equals to angle 4. So we will write here angle 6. Okay. I forget to tell that what is the value for this one. We have angle 3 equals to what? 60 degree. You mentioned here 60 degree. Next angle three, 6 equals to angle 
4 and angle 4 is equals to 120 and reason you write alternate interior angles okay next what we have angle 8 and 5 see you have already used that angle uh, 4 equals to angle 2 vertically opposite angle so try to use fresh reason it's not compulsory like that but but if if you go like that it will be good for you and it's look good also because again and again if you use vertically opposite angle and vertically opposite angle it's not look good because 8 is equals to 6 you can write no problem 8 angle 8 equals to angle 6 and you mention a vertically opposite angle okay you will get the full marks but if you choose one more we have that angle 8 equals to angle 2 we can choose or angle 4 and angle 8 are equals to. you can choose anyone but you need to write that reason if i'll choose angle 8 equals to angle 2 then I, I need to write here alternate exterior angle if i'll choose angle 8 equals to angle 4 then i need to write here corresponding angle if i'll choose angle 8 equals to angle 6 then i need to write here vertical opposite angle there are three possibility you can take any one of them whatever you will going to take you need to write the reason beside that so here i'll going to take angle 4 and angle 8 okay uh, before that i'll need to write here angle 7 so i am having here angle 7 equals to angle 3 reason is what corresponding angles okay so here angle 3 is what 60 degree you mentioned here and next see already i have used here corresponding angle if you need to use you can change this one angle 8 equals to angle 2 and alternate exterior angle you can use there are so many reasons you can show each reason here so i can use that one fresh one angle 8 equals to angle 2 and i can write here alternate exterior angle and angle 2 is what 120 degree now you count how many 120 are there 1 2 3 4 and 60 1 2 3 and more 6 yes 3 4 have you seen so this way we need to solve it okay uh, here we have a problem based on the first one same style just this is your horizontal parallel line and this is your vertical parallel line instead of 1 2 3 I've used here A B C D so proceed the way we have proceed in the first one let's go for the second one what is here in second one you can see that there are three parallel line they mentioned here a B pass to C D and C D pass to E F that means A B pass to E F also. Okay, we'll see. We need to find the value of X. We need to find. Here they have given the condition that Y is to Z equals to what? 3 is to 7. So <coughs> let's proceed. So what we have two numbers. Diagram we need to draw here right here x y and j okay a b c d e f okay now we have what we have you just write here we have here a b equals to c d not equals to parallel and c d parallel to e f separately also you can write or you can write here a b parallel to c d parallel to e f that way also you can write no problem in that case okay now you can see that x plus y will give you 180 degree can you see yes x plus y will give you what 180 degree reason is consecutive interior angle so we can choose here that x plus y equals to 180 degree okay but why we are taking because there are three parallel lines so we need to mention that which two parallel line we are taking here we are taking a b parallel to c d this is very much important 
and there is a transversal so we have not given any name of this transversal no need to worry for that we have just you write consecutive interior angles or instead of cons consecutive interior angle you can write here co-interior angle also both are same here instead of consecutive we can write here co-interior angle now this is one and if you look at the, your this case x and the y if you see if you see a b pass to e f why sir because a b is passed to c d and c d is passed to e f so we can write here what that x equals to j i can write here okay so okay let's go for this is your number one keep it with you next we'll write here a b pass to e f you mentioned since c d pass to e f okay here we can write that angle x equals to j why sir alternate interior angles okay we have one more thing so we have not written this one we have okay let's see now y is to j means 3 is to 7 this can be written as y by z equals to 3 by 7 yes and y equals to we can write here 3 by 7 z we can write yes we can write here now this is your number one number two and number three now okay keep it here number three you'd say from one and two from one and 2. From 1 and 2 you can see that x plus y equals to 1 and 80 and x equals to z. That means we can say that z plus y equals to 1 and 80 degree. Yes, we can write. Now, instead of y, we can replace it by this one. 3 by 7 z. Yes, we can replace it. Why, sir? From 3. As you can see that y equals to 3 by 7 z. So instead of y we are writing 3 by 7 z. Now you do LCM. We know that how to do the LCM. Simply. So here we have 7. And this will give you here what? 7 plus 3 10 z. 180. Next we proceed here z equals to 180 into 7 by 10 so it will give you what 18 so what we are getting here z equals to 56 5 in your hand 126 degree okay now they are asking us find the value of x and you can see that x equals to z and z equals to what 126 therefore x equals to z equals to 126 this is your answer okay thank you